everyone, welcome Anzor, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated hair growth journey video for you guys because literally that is my most requested video right now to do an updated hair growth journey video. I already have one on my channel but don't, don't watch it please. Please and thank you, don't watch it it's bad and also I do get a lot of questions on how I grew my hair this fast how did I get my hair to hip length pretty much and what am I doing and how did this how did this all start so that's what I'm going to be talking about today if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Mara we like to grow hair here on this channel so make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that notifications button so you can be notified whenever I upload thanks <laughs> I'm going to try not to make this video too long I just have a lot of like points that I have written down that I want to go through and I just want to make it as informational for you guys as possible so you guys can pretty much know the full story so without further ado we're just gonna slide right into this video so as you guys know my hair was relaxed like I've been relaxed since a very young age probably from 2000 2001 up until 2015 2015 that's the year that I got my very last relaxer but we're actually going to go through that later so just a little bit of a backstory again like I said I got my relaxer at a very young age and my mom she was a licensed cosmetologist so I literally could get my hair done at home for free because you know I ain't got money so <laughs> so growing up my hair was pretty much always long um for a two foot probably six or seven year old mid back that's probably where my hair was that was considered long to my family but really I just wasn't fully grown as of yet like I have a short torso I was just short overall so probably that mid back length from the six or seven year old was probably like right here but pretty much during the majority of the time that I was getting relaxers my mom again like I said she did my hair i had the brad stalls she pretty much replicated those hairstyles protective styles and i would go to school like that leave my hair like that for one or two weeks and then she'll do my hair another way again if i wanted my hair straightened during those periods of times where she was doing my hair flat irons they really wasn't too much of a thing you know they had the curling iron set the one that you stick on the stove and it gets hot and the hot comb yeah she used to hot comb my hair so whenever I wanted straight hair she would hot comb it and then sometimes bump the ends with one of those those things you stick on the stove so pretty much a majority of the time that I was relaxed before I did my first transition I would say that my hair was pretty healthy as healthy as your hair can get when you're putting chemicals in it my hair was long like literally I was in college I was so relaxed my hair was growing it was probably right above my waist I was doing protective styles I was getting my trims regularly more than I'm doing now that I'm natural actually so during that time I was getting my trims probably every six months just because I was trying to grow out my layers and in order for me to get the blunt cut that I wanted I needed a majority of my hair to match or to be the same length so I can just cut it and have it all one length pretty much so seventh grade I'm still relaxed but we actually moved to New Jersey so the schools the schools that I went to in Jersey let's just say there was very few black kids um a majority a good a good majority of the school was white i would say the school was probably 92 percent white you obviously have other ethnicities in the school or in the town but the black kids wasn't around me so <laughs> when i moved here i literally probably did not see any black students until a few days in and it was just like very few it was probably like eight or nine of them so it wasn't really many black kids but i can say when i started going to the school like the environment that i was in like it impacted the way that i wanted to do my hair they wore their hair straight they wore their hair straight i'm not even gonna lie so by seeing that on a day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis i decided that i wanted to wear my hair straight so after I started straightening my hair in 8th grade, that's pretty much just started the whole the whole process of me doing heat to my hair and just me adding constant heat to my hair. So when I started and I bought my first flat iron, I would say that I probably added heat to my hair probably once every two weeks. So I would wash, straighten, two weeks pass, wash, straighten, two weeks pass, wash, do a protective style probably, and then wash, straighten after those tweaks and during that time even though I was adding so much heat to my hair I didn't 
notice any breakage i didn't experience any breakage i was also dyeing my hair myself on a day-to-day -day basis like literally i would dye my bangs one day and then if it wasn't the color or it wasn't as light as i wanted i would go the next day and dye my bangs again like that was what i was doing to my hair during that time period and i just wasn't seeing any damage to my hair so I just kept doing it. It wasn't until I fully dyed my hair that I started to see damage so I wasn't paying attention to the fact that I needed a relaxer. I told my mom to give me a relaxer. Where I messed up I got a relaxer a week after I dyed my hair. So that honestly was the biggest setback of my relaxed time period like literally all of my hair around the perimeter of my head it broke off it was just like little pieces just like sticking up i couldn't do anything and what was even worse was not the hair color that i chose it like blended in with my skin tone it was a mess pretty much during this time Nicki minaj was really popular with the bangs she had those bangs that just like set out from your face kind of like that you rude she had those bangs that like set out from your face it was kind of like that like it wasn't like flush to your face it was like that so i got those bangs and they cover my edges that i didn't have and problem solved so during that time i learned my lesson i kind of cut back on coloring my hair i didn't completely stop but so fast forwarding a little um i realized the more that i dyed my hair the more that my hair was breaking off or shedding so i noticed that my hair was shedding a lot and my hair just shuts a lot on the day-to-day -day period, even now when I'm natural. My hair was just shutting a lot more than usual when I was relaxed during that time period. So I actually stopped putting permanent dyes in my hair. And I only used semi-permanent dyes. So dyes that didn't affect your hair, just didn't damage your hair. Those are the only dyes that I would use. After I cut out the hair dyes, literally the only chemical that I had was the relaxer. Because I was only straightening my hair in between the protective styles, I was still seeing hair growth. 2014, I started college and my hair was probably at my lower back. Also, sometime throughout the years, I was in between taking biotin. I would take like the Nature's Valley pill biotin. I would take Hairfinity. I would take sugar bear hair it was just throughout the years after this that i just started taking biotin pills and again that definitely did help with health and hair growth as well so in 2015 i started my first transition which only lasted for a few months because it just got to me how hard it was to manage two different curl patterns yes my hair was growing yes my curls were coming in the curls in the back they were coming in way faster than the curls in the front so that led me to believe that my hair in the back was growing faster than the hair in the front so before i got my relaxer i probably had about an inch of new growth um, but again like i said it was just too much i couldn't handle it and i was still in school like i was stressed from school and i didn't want to be stressed from my hair so relaxer it was so guys this is actually where we're going to pause it really quick because this video is going to be way too long and i want everyone to pretty much be able to get through the video to know the experience to know the struggles and to know the positives on how i got my hair to hip length so it's going to be a second part to this video make sure you stay tuned because it will be posted directly after but yeah hit the subscribe and i'll see you in the next one